Hey guys, today we are going to see how we can create custom weapons for GT5 using Blender and Solums. So first of all, let's head over to a custom weapon or the custom model which I want to put in game. I have already found and recreated the weapon in Blender. So we're just gonna use this as an example. And now what we want to do is find a similar weapon which is already present in game and I have actually already found a similar weapon it is PDW also if you just search it in RPF Explorer and if you preview it you will see that it looks pretty much similar to, uh, to my weapon the map position is also similar and the overall weapon shape is also very similar I'm just gonna use it so what, what you want to do is right click and export XML and make sure it's the non high model then we also want to export the high model so we need both the base model and the high model so export both of these I'm not gonna export the textures since it doesn't really matter we're not going to use the textures and now coming back to a scene just import the models so this is our base model base model always has collisions and this is our high model now if we just bring our weapon to the scene what we want to do is try to match the size of a custom weapon to the GTA weapon so I'm just gonna move it right over here position is almost similar also I'm not gonna show how you're supposed to do it since it's not a basic tutorial you should already be aware of how things work make it similar right over here and now we want to align our scope so to align a scope just select everything and it should be scope only now just move it upwards and once you have aligned and scaled your weapon according to the GT weapon make sure to apply all the transforms and if you head over to the items panel you'll see that everything is at zero in the location now what we want to do is convert all the vertex groups for a custom model so in case you have predefined vertex groups like this over here in your custom model you can use these vertex groups to convert to the GTA vertex groups and if you look at the GTA model you know, you'll see that you have some vertex groups the vertex groups might vary depending on what model you have chosen I have five vertex groups over here and if you just preview the vertex groups it has selected parts of the weapon just trigger so I'm just gonna use my predefined vertex groups to convert it to the GT vertex group so right over here is my trigger for my custom weapon so what I'm gonna do is just align it a little bit and if you see the name just copy the name of the GTA weapon vertex group to your custom weapon vertex group and you can delete all the useless vertex group which you're gonna do it at the last so let's just quickly sweep through all the things in our custom model first. We should be our stock. So this is our stock. Copy the name and stock. Gun cop two. So this is the part in the GTA weapon. I'm not gonna do that with my weapon. 
so we can just skip over that part and we can just create an empty vertex group all the vertex group needs to be there uh, let it be empty but it needs to be there so we're just gonna create an empty vertex group and what we have next is our main bone and in our custom model we have our main bone as let's see this part so i'm just gonna rename it to the main bone gun main bone now i've already defined the stock i've already defined the trigger i guess oh we have not defined the trigger so let's just copy the trigger name and define the trigger so we have already defined it so what is left is our gun block one let's see what it is okay, so we do have it right over here so we can define that too let's just select a custom weapon model let's see what it is or reflex i guess no nope. So just change it. And now once you have created or assigned all the vortex groups, delete all the useless vortex groups which have which might be in your predefined model. You should have same number of the vortex groups right over here compared to your weapon. So there is an extra one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So the gun body is not there, I guess. So let's just remove that too. Now, once we have created our vertex groups, what we can do is convert our model to a valid drawable. This is our drawable model. I remove this and create a valid GTA shader. Move this to no principal BSDF. Have already extracted the textures for the custom weapon. I'm just gonna plug it right over here. A normal, no plug it right over here. And I'm gonna convert the shader to let's say normal. Got normal map and to value set it to one and convert the shader to normal. What I'm gonna do is embed all the textures for easy workflow, but you should always create an external texture dictionary and now what we want to do is duplicate a model we just duplicate a model it right over here i'm gonna rename it to gun main i bring it out and delete these two so we have our mesh I'm just gonna rename it to base. So now we can just replace our model for our base and our high weapon. So first of all, I'm gonna do it for my base weapon. Extract the durable hierarchy, delete the gun clock, and put it right over here. And make sure your mesh has a valid armature modifier and set it to your base modifier or the base object we can also set our bounding boxes but i'm just gonna leave it like that it doesn't really matter but obviously if you are perfecting your weapon you can obviously scale the bounding box and now let's just replace our high model delete this move it right over here Add a modifier, armature modifier, and set it to I.
and we have completed our weapon. At this point, we can export our weapon and test it out in game like an add-on or a replace weapon. But let's say you want to move these bones because your weapon is a little bit different or it has different positions. So in order to move the bones, what you want to do is go to your base weapon. Just gonna hide the bound box. And we want to edit our base weapon model bones. So what we're gonna do is select our select the base model bone, go to edit mode, and let's say we want to move this gun grip left bone. I'm just gonna move it right over here. And for precautionary purposes, we also want to move our high model weapon bones to the same location. So what we can do is go to the edit mode. Select the same weapon bone for the eye model. Let's just select this bone. Make sure the bones are aligned properly. Now oh, this should work fine. So once you have moved the bones. Let's say we want to move another bone. The easiest way is to just select both of the armatures and then go to the edit mode. And let's say we want to move the flash muzzle a little bit upwards. So for testing purposes, I'm just going to put it right over here. So while we are testing the weapon, we can see that where the muzzle flash bone is. So let's say we move it right over here. And once you have edited your base weapon, make sure that you remember which model weapons uh, which bone you have edited so now what we want to do is select our weapons go to the pose mode go to the pose mode now select the bone which you have edited the position of now select the bone which you have edited so let's say select our this bone go to the bone properties go to bone properties over here and remove all these flags so just delete all these create two new flags and rename the first one to limit rotation and rename the second one to limit translation once you have done this make sure that you do it for every edited bone I'm just gonna select the second bone over here delete all the flags rename it to limit rotation and limit translation I'm gonna do that for the left grip bone limit rotation and limit translation this is the high weapon bone delete limit rotation and limit translation once you have created all these two flags and all the edited bones you can just simply export our weapon right now so just select your weapon select hierarchy select hierarchy and export I'm just gonna export in our tutorial folder selected objects now we can just go to the mods go to our tutorial folder and let's just convert the textures to a DDS format just gonna select this and this put it to 50% change the output path and convert then we can just drag and drop the XML file and SPW PDW and we just preview the model this is how it looks high model doesn't high model hasn't exported properly so let's just export it again high weapon drag and drop it right over here 
with the TDS textures and this is our high weapon so now let's just try to stream it create a new folder custom weapon create a new folder called stream I'm just gonna copy the fixed manifest in the stream folder so if you want to create an add-on weapon you can use V weapons toolkit it's pretty easy to use you can just download it from the release section over here and just rename it to say something like custom weapon and custom weapon high and export it like that but I'm just gonna stream it as a replace weapon I don't wanna create a hassle of creating the add-on weapon but it's gonna work pretty similar so let's just test our weapon and show our resource custom weapon so once we have loaded we can just spawn our weapon uh, just for since it's a replace weapon it's gonna be the same name as default weapon which is combat pdw and you can see we have our custom weapon and if we try to verify that if our bones has moved or not we go to first person and shoot our weapon let me change it to knight you see that the flash is coming at the top instead of being at the nozzle and as you can see the weapon is also animated you can just move the muzzle flash bone to back right over here and it will work fine so like this you can have custom weapons with custom bone position as you can see the hand is at the very start of the weapon and the flash bone has been moved so like that you can create custom weapons with custom bone positions you can also replace the mag model and make it custom model as well it's pretty similar to what we have done over here it's the same concept so you can just do that and that's it for this tutorial i guess if you find any issues or any incompatible steps you can always join solim's discord the link is in the description and make sure you have updated your solums and also your code worker. So until then, have a good day and I'll see you next time.